In this video, I'd like to show off Knock, an HTTP mocking and expectations library. I have a basic Node.js script that hits the JService API, which we'll take a look at in a second. And it will do two things. It can either get a category or get a random question. JService is a trivia questions API that offers hundreds of thousands of questions for you to use in your own little Jeopardy-like game. My favorite usage of this API is a Slack plugin that allows you to play Jeopardy with your coworkers, and it can be a lot of fun and a great distraction throughout the day. For our needs though, we'll just be using two API endpoints, category, passing in an ID, and random, which gets us a random question. I have a basic script, which uses the JService module that I've created, that calls both get category and get random question, and then logs out the results from those function calls. We can try this script out by running it in the command line. Calling node, we pass in the name of our file. The first message is the category name, and the second is the question for the clue. If we run the command again, we'll keep the same category name, but a different question will pop up. I've written a couple of unit tests for this module, but only one of them works. The expected category comes back correctly, but the expected clue is always different, so I can't get a consistent value in my assertion. If I try and run my test, you can see the failure. Again, because it's a different random question from the API every time, I can't rely on a consistent response from it to test against. Along with that, I'm relying on a specific ID to get the category, and if the database ever changes, or I change the API that I'm pointing to, I'll have to update my test just to make it pass again. This is where Knock comes in. Knock allows us to specify fake APIs for our test to hit so that our data is consistent with what we expect. Let's take a look at their basic example. The first step is to require Knock. Before we can do that, we need to install the library. This is as simple as running an npm install command. With our package installed, we can now require it at the top of our file. Going back to our documentation, the first thing you see is that they create an instance of knock using the URL of the API we're mocking out. Let's do a similar thing in our file. First, we define a variable we want to use to reference the knock instance, then paste in the URL of the API that we'll be mocking. Again, going back to the documentation, we see they're mocking out an endpoint by defining the exact URL of the resource being requested. Let's go back to our test and add that endpoint in. For the category test, we'll want to mock out the category endpoint. Referencing the JService knock instance we set up, we specify a get endpoint and pass in the URL category, including the ID of the category we're requesting. Be sure to include a forward slash at the beginning, otherwise this won't work. Now that we have our endpoint defined, we need to specify a response we want back from it. Once again, we'll look at the documentation and see they use a reply function to specify the status code and payload data to send back to the request. Going back to our file, we'll use the reply function to specify that we want to return a 200 status code and send the title and expected category inside the payload data. Let's run our test to try it out. It works. Now we can change our expected category value to something different, run our test again, and see that it works as expected. Let's fix this other test next. While the API returns a random question, we don't really care about that in our unit test. We just want to know that calling the getRandomQuestion function returns a question for us to use. For our mock, it can be essentially the same thing as our previous test, just updating the endpoint and data returned. Let's run our test again and see how it worked. Great, both tests pass now. Knock has much, much more functionality underneath the hood, but this is all you need to know to get started with mocking your own APIs. Take a look and have fun testing.